good morning and welcome to this week's assembly. I hope that from last week you have all been thinking about and actually enhancing your growth mindset capabilities. Please do ask your teachers, tutors or myself if you need any further help or assistance with this concept. It's a really important part of what we do and I really want you to think long and hard about this over the coming weeks. I have very much enjoyed seeing all of your drama clips as budding TV presenters. They were all extremely good and you have clearly spent much time putting everything together. Well done to all who got involved. Please now look out for the slideshow recording that is a culmination of all your efforts. This week, Mr. and Mrs. Neil would like you to make things a little more physical. They were both in the musical Mary Poppins in the West End, and they would like to teach you how to spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That's a mouthful. But they're going to ask you to spell that with your bodies, and then ask you to spell your own names. Everyone is welcome to join in, and good luck with this week's challenge. The STEAM and sports challenges have been equally engaging and I have seen many excellent responses within these areas. Please look for this week's tasks within my USO and Spark Jar as an overview this morning. This week is Children's Mental Health Week that runs from the 1st to the 7th of February. And this year's theme is Express Yourself and Place to Be the official provider of guidance and resources is encouraging children and adults to explore the different ways we can express ourselves and the creative ways that we can share our feelings, our thoughts and our ideas. The themes explored are as follows. Mental health, ways in which we can generate the skills to cope with the ups and downs of life staying positive and knowing how to deal with issues and help others to find their way forwards too. The second element is friendship. The strength of friendship and how expressing yourself to your friends can help you and others to maintain positive mental health and well-being. You are never alone and a good friend is often the strength you need to help. Bravery, the quality or state of showing mental or moral strength to face danger, fear or difficulty. Our lives can involve these situations and by expressing ourselves you can be courageous and succeed, helping others to do the same. Learning. We all learn in different ways and asking questions, seeking help and expressing yourselves as you learn is very important to us all. We have things that we find easy and other things that we find hard but the most important factor is that we share our weaknesses so we can get better and our strengths to help others and become more confident. And finally, growth mindset. As we discussed last week, if we can help you as children to understand how to develop a growth mindset, we give you a better chance of success. Growth mindset is, as its core, the theory of learning. Being open to feedback, persisting when things get a little bit hard, and having a sense of curiosity are all key components that will make you a better person in the wider areas of life. So what does express yourself mean? Express yourself is about finding creative ways to share feelings, thoughts or ideas through things like art, writing, music, dance, and doing things that make you feel good. For example, being able to express yourself is not about being the best at something or putting on a performance for others. It is about finding a way to show how you are feeling, 
that can help you feel good about yourself. I hope you enjoy the following clip called Pond 5. Why does finding healthy ways to express yourself matter? Finding healthy ways to express yourself creatively is one way of looking after our mental health. When we are able to find creative and enjoyable ways to share our thoughts, feelings and ideas, this can make us feel good and help our mental health especially through challenging times. What is creative expression? The following clip will help you to understand what creative well-being is. Creative and expressing yourself can help you relax and de-stress. This can generate feel-good endorphins which can lift your mood, help you feel empowered and create a sense of identity and achievement. Creative self-expression can also help to boost your self-esteem, connect with others and give you purpose and meaning. What can creative expression look like? We are all different and we'll find different creative ways to express ourselves. This year, Children's Mental Health Week encourages to explore possibilities and find what works for you. Watch this video clip of George the Poet performing a spoken piece about the theme of possibilities. Use this to think about the possibilities for each of us to explore our own creativity this Children's Mental Health Week. Impossible is a word people use to describe something they can't do. Sometimes they might want to be sadistic, sprinkle it with a dash of realistic and say it's near enough impossible, nigh impossible. 
They'd like you to think you're lying in hospital for defying obstacles and trying not to fall, but their impossible isn't my impossible. There are no winners until someone's won it. You won't know what I'm capable of until I've done it. I could have a stand here patient and listen, wanting to make an incision, having to wait for permission, or I could make a decision and I could take a position. Impossible is the manifestation of your inhibition, so fear of trying is fear of flying. Your mind's racing and your heart isn't out to help. They're turning against you when you're starting to doubt yourself. The nights were cold and the mornings are rough. Now you're worrying about people calling your bluff, second-guessing your ability and all of your stuff. But no, you alone is more than enough. This is the truth I saw before I went to sleep. I knew my time would come eventually, so I celebrate every test ever sent to me. Because what's about to be, was meant to be. It's remarkable to try. But I can't afford to die, knowing my ambition didn't kill me. Forget the voice of reason, listen to the real me. No guts, no glory. How can we help and support each other to get creative and express ourselves this Children's Mental Health Week? Finding healthy ways to express ourselves is one way of looking after our mental health and well-being. Explore your creativity. What sort of things could you become involved with? You could join in with the origami challenge to make a paper duck. For this challenge, you will need your own piece of paper. An alternative option would be to try the one minute squiggle game by the art room at Place to Be. Please watch the following demonstration. Every year at Place to Be, we celebrate Children's Mental Health Week. This year's theme is Express Yourself. There are so many ways we can express ourselves creatively. Let's try something fun together. The squiggle game. All you need is a pen and paper and to squiggle. Then have a look at what you can spot in your squiggle. Can you turn it into something else? Let's turn this one into a little friend. You might see a face, an animal, a fantastical creature. You might even want to imagine what your friend might say to you. My panda's excited about expressing themselves creatively at Children's Mental Health Week, and I hope you are too. I hope you gain much from our focus on children's mental health this week, and consider how this affects you and the others around you. Today, Monday the 1st of February, marks the beginning of our house challenge, the Sri Lankathon. This is for all children from year three to eight, 
including staff associated with each house to get involved with. This challenge will be to help everyone keep active, have fun and work collaboratively in an attempt to travel a distance of 10,629.7 kilometres. This is the distance from Hobridge to Sri Lanka. This challenge will run alongside your daily sports programme. Following the tsunami on Boxing Day in 2004, many schools in Sri Lanka lost everything. We at Hobridge sponsored a specific school and helped them to set up and replenish their school library. The House Sri Lankathon has been designed to encourage both individual and team endeavour to represent houses in covering the total distance. The competition element, which house will arrive first? The distance contributions can be covered by any activity. For example, running, walking, cycling, or counting steps from workouts, sports lessons, dance, and other physical activities that you can do. This challenge is fully inclusive and everyone can contribute and add value to it in their own way. You and house staff will be working as part of your house team to reach the goal. You and your house staff will be asked to record your distances by uploading your daily steps measured in kilometres onto their house excel spreadsheet. Your achievements will be accumulated and tracked accordingly. As families, you will have access to this document to help upload results. Details associated with where to find this document and how to input details will be sent to you very soon. The results will be posted on social media and via the bulletin where you can view regular updates of how each house is progressing. There will be two checkpoints along the way for you to aim for en route. Sofia in Bulgaria and Tehran in Iran. This will help you track your journey before finally arriving in Sri Lanka. Houses will be awarded points on arrival at each checkpoint. The house arriving in Sri Lanka first will gain the most points and will be awarded the House Active Endeavour Cup at the spring term prize giving. Form teachers will talk to you, the children, about getting involved in this house challenge and answer any questions that you may have. If you need any more information, please contact Miss Thornton Pickering directly via email and she will be able to help. Thank you for your help and support with this huge and exciting challenge. Please encourage everyone to get involved in the Sri Lankathon by staying active each and every day. Good luck to you all. This week's drama, sport and year three and four STEAM projects are available from this morning for you to get involved in. If you do wish to share what you have achieved, then make sure that everything we need is with us before the start of school on Friday morning at the latest. If you can, please send as early as possible. Please send them to reception at hobridgeschool.co.uk or follow the instructions set out by the leader of the task. On Friday morning, we will put together a selection of pictures to use in the bulletin and recordings to use in our secure social media platforms. I hope you will join me in celebrating all that we do this week uh, and share with our community the wonderful things that we have enjoyed. We regularly publicise these types of opportunities to become involved in what we are doing from an assembly as part of a project or various competitions that we create. 
These activities are for the whole family to be involved in, taking the chance to work as a team. If you prefer to work as an individual, that is okay too. Just make sure that you get involved in some way. I look forward to seeing what you are able to send through to us during the course of the week. Children celebrating birthdays this week are Kimia Lamour in year five, Kieran Dalgetty in year four, Lucas Lai in year six, Arthur Shaw in year five, Freddie Rees in year eight, Alfred Hansen in year four, Thomas Jessup in year three, and Toby Sheck in year three. I hope you all have a wonderful birthday this week and the celebrations are really exciting and much fun. Congratulations also to our year six children, Charlotte Gillespie, Freddie Gibbs, Catherine Davies, Bertie Guys Tucker and Abigail Johnson, who receive a HMC each for excellent presentations in their science work over the past two weeks. This brings an end to my assembly. I hope you have a fun week and I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Goodbye for now.